The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials down 80, Nasdaq's down 36, S&Ps are off uh, 13. We have the gold contract trading down $11 at 1233. Uh, the 10-year note is up six ticks. 30-year bond is uh, up uh, 25 ticks. Uh, good old king dollar is flat. We got uh, the first day of a two-day meeting, Tom. Yeah. And uh, bottom line is that uh, these markets continue to rock and roll. They do. Uh, and, of course, uh, as we do each and every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we get our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, with us from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. Now, don't forget, folks, at TFNN, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do live programming, 8 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock at night. Tuesday, Thursday, 7 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock at night, you get it all right on your cell phone. So as you're going to work on the West Coast right now, you're probably just waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning now. Who knows? Well, if you're a trader, you're probably not, maybe. That, no, that's right. That's right. Uh, remember that, you know, when you don't hear us on the radio, you can hear us right on your cell phone at TFNN.com. Just go to Tiger TV. Kevin's got an outstanding show every day. 12 noon, Swim Lessons is on. If you trade options, folks, it's a must go to. And it's free. It's free. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, guys. How's everything? Happy Tuesday. Morning, happy Kevin. Tuesday. Hey, happy St. Patrick's Day, man. Well, that's, that's Thursday. Almost. Thank you very we'll much. be talking to him on St. Patrick's Day as well. Yeah, yeah, we will. We will. Totally. <laughs> it's not just a day, Tom. Remember, it's a state of mind. It, it is a state of mind. It becomes man. a state of mind. It sometimes. does. There's no doubt, man. <laughs> How's everything going, guys? You know, the start of this two day meeting. Everyone's, does anyone really think that there's going to be any major change coming out of this meeting? No, I don't. Yeah, I, you I know, don't. You know, I mean, when you look at the world rates, man, you know, w we have high rates right now. It's like, oh, they're really going to try to go up again? I don't see it, you know? No chance. Yeah. And, and I guess, I, you know, what is going to be deviant here, it looks like the market really wants to move. So it's like, okay, what, what are they going to say that, you know, is going to make the market move? I mean, you know. Um, right. I mean, let's face it. The history is the, the, the short term history of these meetings and the market reaction to these meetings is not great. Right. Mainly because they've kind of messed up the, the, the dialogue and the narrative coming out of it. So we'll see what they do this time. Hopefully they're getting a little better at it. Well, you know, what's wild is that just on the way in, I just heard this uh, one of the central bankers in Europe. He was on Bloomberg. And what he just said was pretty cool. They had asked him that, you know, well, what do you think? He says, you know, he says, we knew when we were going into this in 2007 that um, this wasn't a textbook deal and we were going by the seat of our pants, right? And then he said, he says, and guess what? On the way out, we're going by the seat of our pants. He says, because it's not written down anywhere how this is right. supposed to go, you know? No, it, no, one, no one can honestly tell you how this is going to end. Right. Because it's never been done before. Right. Right. There's never been, what, seven or eight years or nine years of zero interest rate or virtually zero interest right. rate. Exactly. So anyone that tells you the history, oh, the history is this, there is no history. <laughs> I know, man. We're making it, which is really wild. Yeah. And on yeah. top of no history, you have the world going to negative at the same time that they're supposed to be raising, which is even more dynamic, right? It is. That... Right. Remember what, what we said last week. There could be a divergence of policy going yeah, right. forward as the rest of the world actually gets weaker than the U.S. And that's what it seems like anyway, you know, I, I mean, I, that's what it feels like to me. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, because they, they, there's, there's problems. We know that there's political problems out there, period, which never mind the economic problems. That's just a problem, period. Just trying to stay alive. Never mind trying to make money. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, oh, man, you know, we're so lucky being here. It's like the lucky DNA club, man. You know, I agree. I agree. As, as you know, we're everything's going to be all right. But, you know, we're going to have to work through some. Some serious, we got some serious wood to chop in this market, and I and I think you know I think this is going to be a real interesting week because if it holds here, I think the, I think the, the road ahead is positive, but it's got to get through this week with with, with let's see what the Fed does to uh, to either help us or hurt us. It is, and you know, folks. Okay, don't forget every.
trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Kevin, Scott, Cindy, it's a great show. No commercials, one full hour. Great understanding of uh, the option market. And what's really cool, folks, okay? You know, Kevin, what you guys do, um, what I think it's so common sense, which I really love, as you break down, first, you, what they do, folks, is this. First, they break down the structure that you should know inside options. Then they use that to build on more option positions that are more sophisticated. But it's so easy, well, nothing, that's a wrong word to use in the marketplace, but, but it's very clear because you built the first foundation that the next foundations are much easier to understand. Right, we, we, we try to do a class, Tom, as if, remember, all the, all the older generation of traders that are here now, like me, we all had mentors and they all taught us yeah. down in the pits from day one. We're treating our clients and our listeners like you're our clerk standing in our pit. Well, it's so Start cool, man. To... I've learned so much. I mean, you know, you know, and, and, and what's so cool, what I just had brought up there, Kevin, like, so picture this, I've been doing this forever. I always trade no OEX, okay? But the, you know, I'm a directional trader, so I was never really doing anything sophisticated. And last sure. week you're explaining this, and he says, man, that is so cool how you explained it. Because instead of trying to grasp okay, a more sophisticated level, I had, you know, I got the, the, the foundation. So it's like, oh my God, I'm just putting two of them together. So that's, just that understanding is much yeah. better, you know? Of course. Okay, well, we brother, well, listen, fun. we look forward to the show at noontime. We look forward for volatility. We got, we got it in the market, there's no doubt, man. Can't wait, always good talking to you guys. Have you too, man. Thanks, Kevin. Have a great one, have a safe one. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now is down 65, NASDAQ's off 33, S&P's are off 11. We're gonna be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow Industrials right now down 54, Nasdaq's off 32, S&P's are down 11. And uh, you talk about taking a hit. Uh, this is pretty intense, folks. Uh, you get Valiant uh, Pharmaceutical is down $26 uh, at $42. It's almost like down 30%, right? I mean, uh, it, it's like insane. Wait a minute. About almost 70. Yeah, yes. It, it closed. It's almost it down forty percent. Oh my God! It closed yesterday at sixty nine dollars. Yeah, so it's trading off of seventy, so it's down twenty seven off of seventy. Yeah. Thirty five would be fifty so percent. You get it's an forty like percent down on the day. Unbelievable. Yeah. You get an, you get an, another additional ABC down. And if you want to take a look at this, folks, and you just see if you bought a margin yesterday, you're you're done. Like you're fifty percent margin. Yeah. Well, and we'll show them that there's. And yeah. It's sad what's going on here. This there's a there's a hit out here that's extraordinary. Um, and if you take a look at this, though, this is what's really wild about price and volume. You know, when this first went down, I know this, there's plenty that listen a long time. This was sticking out like a sore thumb. And it took a while to get there, but the last time with volume was 55 bucks. It was go like, back to August of 2011. Right. And the low of that is 36. Now it's going to blow by all of them because it's a larger ABC down. Um, now, that being said, if you want to see something that's pretty sick, this is David Ihon is having a bad morning. You know, it's not just, this, this was a stock that there was big fights over, uh, but it's not just what he had owned, folks. Unfortunately, and Larry was just talking about this on his program, the worst thing he could ever do is double down. Well, he doubled down 10 days ago. He bought 14.1 million shares. Now, that, just so that, that's uh, as of 10 days ago, right? He could have made that trade. Oh, and he could, he, well, let's see, if he sold them, we would have said that he sold them. No, adding to the position, though. Well, I'm saying when's he see, added that's that the day. file? You sure? Okay. Yeah, this is what ends up happening. Okay. So, see, he only owns nine percent. Yes. Okay. When you own, if he has more than a certain percentage. Yeah, he has to file every single day. day. Yeah, exactly. So, what happens is that there's two different filings. Okay, there's a 13F filing, and a 13F filing gets filed 45 days after the end of the quarter. A 13D filing has to be filed every single. As soon as you buy, if we bought them okay. today. We get to put it in today. It'll be reported at the end okay. of the day. That's how that works. Cool. But that's insane. That the poor yeah. guy. I mean, this is this is a bad scene, folks. Okay, because you know. Yeah, we. I mean, unless he sold them yesterday, it would show up tomorrow. If we right. show, if we sold them right. yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that's that's. I. And, no, we're doing it. Looking at the 14 million shares. You know, just the 14 million shares he doubled down on. That's like a 360 million dollar loss right away. And on the whole 30 million share position, you know, today alone he's down like 800, 850 million. That's unbelievable. Yeah, and that's been a tough trade for him for a long time, as I'm sure people have heard in the news. And yeah, oh yeah, no, it was wow. Bottom line, that, that's that's pretty sick, man. You, you don't want to see anyone. It's it's amazing, actually. I, I, I don't even know how they're going to stay in. Well, no, they will stay in business because they get billions of dollars. But a yeah, and, and, and again, who knows? They could have option positions protecting themselves. And he he does have option yeah, positions. I'm sure. He's he's I'm a sure. big option guy. There's no doubt about and that. And who knows what he has? You know, maybe he had some catastrophic options that would come into play if it dropped fifty percent or something like that. I hope you, so. The, 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 you, I know, you just no, don't know. No, they they can get sophisticated. Exactly. Talking about you know with Kevin and swim lessons, you want to talk about sophisticated? Some of these funds, oh, yeah. funds out there, the way they use options right. to offset some of that risk. But who knows, he might have nothing too. You know he might they, just straight I, double down, that's I, possible. The, the yeah. thing that's crazy, the, this is what, the thing that's amazing is that, you know, they so I think he's already having a tough year. Yeah, that, yeah, he is, know. he is. And they, the thing that, let me just, I want to just see this. Yeah, see, so he knew that they were coming out with their numbers. Right. And even, no matter how close you are to it, guess what, it doesn't matter, okay? Um, yeah, you're not an insider, so you don't have yeah. you don't have the numbers. Wow, intense. And that's that's obvious. Unless you sold yesterday, then then, 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 we'll then find you can out run with your conspiracy That's theory. right. That's right. Unreal. Let's go to Lou and Nasher. Hey, Lou, what's going on? Hey, what's happening? How you uh, doing, morning, man? Lou? Getting some rain here. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's better right. than snow, right? Yeah, that's good for yeah, you. that's good for the snow. spring flowers coming in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish I was down there with you. I'm getting tired. I know. Come on down. This is like, it's, 
This is the next two months are just amazing down here. They're, you know. Oh, I bet. I bet. You used to live up in uh, Boston, didn't you? Oh, yeah. 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 We love Boston. It's just that, you know, Boston gets cold. And, and you know what? You know what's wild, folks? It's, it's not even the cold as much either. It's the gray skies. You know, yeah. when you yeah, get, it's very gray. As it's, opposed it's, to down here, it's yeah, often it's blue. Blue. Yeah. It's, it makes oh, a difference. Unbelievable. So what are we so gonna I'm, look at today? I, I'm in uh, I'm in uh, dust. And dust. So I dust, folks, is the 300% direction inverse correlation. Uh, that means that he's looking for the gold miners to go down. The low out here um, is uh, 322. The high is uh, 40 dollars. If uh, we go over to the uh, HUI, well, here let's look at dust first. D U S T. So right now you, you know, you're going slightly higher. You're doing lighter volume. Um, you know, I wouldn't be shot the gold miners. That's the bottom line. So, yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought. I got to get out. Um, you know, if you if you look at how these guys have moved, you know, they're they're certainly moving much quicker than the price of gold. But just look in the context of, yeah, hey, let's put. I put a couple of charts up so simultaneously so you can see this thing. If we look at okay, there's the HUI. I believe I can compare a chart. Here. Let's see how can I do this. Uh, compare. There we go. So if I compare the HUI with GCJ6, I'll compare it with the gold price. And we update that. You know. Uh, you, you can't really see a lot right here, but what, you, what you're going to look, what you see here is this, is that this is, you know, we had an extraordinary run. HUI went from 94 up to 174. You're backing down, you're backing down with lighter volume. The HUI and the XAU are both ABC structures on the way up. They took their B points out with volume, so you're playing with fire. You know, when we took the B point out, we went higher with 44 million shares. You came down yesterday with 23 million, and you know you're probably going to do less than that today. Yeah, right. You know, so yeah. the the key, I I'd say inside the gold market, I know people are having a hard time with it because the run has so been so extraordinary that is waiting for a deep retracement. I don't think we're going to get one until we do the next leg up. Then I think <laughs> you'll get a decent, you know, deep retracement because right. these stocks don't want to, you know pull off. I mean, look at it. You get gold down 10 bucks today, which is nothing, by the way. So, so what also happens is this, folks. This is what you got to keep in mind. If we get to a higher price, which gold has done, um, you know, gold down $10 is nine-tenths of 1%. Well, you know, oil moves 3% every day. Gold can move 3% every day. You know what I mean? So, yeah. the, you can't look at the price movement. You, you have to absolutely look at the percentage movement. Um, you know, so, yeah. like today, you have gold down, but yet the equities are not backing off. You know, right. you have, you have uh, Wrangell up 47 cents. Uh, you know, Gold Corp is down 29. Anika Lee goes off 31. The pennies. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Right, right. Is there a chance to get in? To not get in any time. Right. I, 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 well, you know what? If you, it depends how you're trading it. I bought gold this morning. I'm long gold right now. I bought gold on this downdraft. And I, but I bought it on the, uh, the Nadex product. So I like day trading on that product. For a day trade. Yeah. Stay, stay right there. We're coming right back. Um, Dow right now is down 47. NASDAQ's off 30. S&P's are down 10. We're going to be right back, folks. If you're looking to discover a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new Market Safe Commodity Solution CD from EverBank. This five year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to eight equally weighted commodities, including WTI crude oil, gold, silver, copper, nickel, soybeans, corn, and sugar, in one powerful CD. With annual pricing caps of 70% per component, you could earn up to 70% upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite 
worker, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. Take advantage of this financial resource designed to grow with the times. The April 14th funding deadline is quickly approaching, so hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow right now down 23, NASDAQ off 20, S&Ps are off 7.5. We're talking with Lou from Nash. We're talking about uh, the gold market. So... You know, what happens, Lou, is that if you have, I've, I've, I'm long on in the Nadex platform, but that's strictly a day trade. Um, you know, on the, on the downdraft this morning, I liked how that came down. So if we, we pull it up, I'll show you what we were looking at. So, you know, we're at 1232. Uh, first time, put this on a one day, so I'll put it on two days so you can see what's happened. So the first time that you, you came down, well, first what you, what you did is this. You, you went, no, actually I bought it before this, so yeah, I bought it here. See, it was, okay, so it was coming into the last night's session, it came down hard to 1226, and it did 5,000 contracts, and that's at, uh, that was at 10 minutes of, 10 past nine last night, which is really unusual, okay? So when it, when it came down earlier this morning, it was only coming down with 2,400 contracts. I think that's Asia. Is that a, that's nine? That's, that's, that's nine o'clock our time, so it'd have to be twelve hours. It's Asia opening, probably. Yes, that, that'd, be that'd, be, so, that'd be that'd be that'd yeah. be correct. That'd be that'd be like Asia opening. Something that, happened. There. That's Asia opening, and they they nailed it down. And it was contract value there. So and then just to put it, and then I think, what what time does Europe open? Three three o'clock in the morning. Three yeah. o'clock. Okay, so that and wasn't that's much, it. But that's that's, that's some but action that, there at like four right. starting off. Yeah. Um. You know, so that's strictly day trade, though. So on, and then did we get a report come out at eight thirty? Yeah, at yeah, eight thirty, right. the PPI came out, which was uh, saying there's no inflation. And you know, first it spiked and then it came lower. Sure. So if we go over to NUGT for a second, you know, uh, this is the three hundred percent direction bull position of the New York Ocker Index, and you know, when you look at this, it's like. Well, this, this isn't bad if you put the stop right under where we are. 
because it's an ABC app, you know? It's... Right. So that's not that bad. You've gotten a pullback yep. off the top there, which is a little nice, Yeah, at least. because it's, it's a large ABC up, man. This is, you know, the, the eight point on this is uh, $17.40. And you've just come back down from, like, almost 70 to 53 twice. So yeah. you're, at, yeah. you're at an area where it's tested before. So, right. yeah, you could set your stop there. And, right. and, you know, even if you got a bounce back up to 60, 65, 70 to the top right. of that range. Right, which is... There's going to be, <laughs> you know, at 2 o'clock tomorrow, folks, there's going to be action. You know, I got a call last night and said, well, geez, like, what do you do? And What do you do? Yeah, well, meaning do you stay in? Right. And what That's happens... That's a magic question. And right? this is always a challenge, folks, okay? You know, the, the larger money is when the trades are harder, you know? But you just have to make sure that you're not over your head on the trade. Sure. Because that movement is going to come in. And I mean, I remember, you know, at the beginning when I was trading, it's like, oh my God, you know, it could blow up an account in about two seconds. Well, and I think that relates to your last comment then of making sure that you keep your risk contained. It does. Yeah, yeah no, that, that's my point. I'm yeah. just kind of bringing you in on a cycle of a, you know, sure. a length. Of, so so that's, I would, I would play, but I would play smaller, you know, because of the volatility is going to be there. But we're going to get movement, man. And see, what's happening right now, this is what's really cool, folks. I, and I, I know I keep talking about this, but the bonds have continued to give the best information. Like right now, when we started the program, the 10-year was up seven or eight ticks. It had been up 11 ticks by 7 o'clock this morning, right? It gave it up again. These bonds, the notes in the bonds are saying the market wants higher price. Bonds want lower price. And in that context, now, if you bring that over to the, you can bring that to the gold market because what ends up happening is that that would be saying that that's the probability that the Fed is not going to raise and very well may say, hey, we're not going to raise the next time either, you know, because those bonds would be going higher. They sure. should be going higher, you know. Yeah. yeah. Cooking, brother. Thank you very much, man. It's always a pleasure, man. Thanks, Lou. Likewise. Okay. Thanks. Bye -bye. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You know what's wild is that um, now that we're down in Florida, like when you you'd go to that radio station every day in Nashua, that was like right next to Boston. It's Nashville's so close to Boston when you think about yeah, it. Yeah, I right? know what you did. I mean, yeah. Compared to what, like in Florida, we can right. go for well, hours. I, I drive 45 minutes right now, and I drove an hour when I was driving south of Boston, actually south, because I was in Quincy, right, to go to Nashua, right, an hour. So there you go. <laughs> Pretty wild, man. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Look at this market growling, prowling yeah. all the way back, man. So let's go over and we'll take a look at, uh, see if we get any juice. Now, the market had no juice yesterday, folks. It's quite a little nine-point spike it's, in the S&P. It's, it, it's a beauty, man. It's a beauty. It's a, in fact, I was know, looking at your weekly S&P binaries this morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they didn't have a market they this morning. They had no morning, bid? No. <laughs> and that's, you know, well, we went over it yesterday, though. Even, you know, that if the market stayed where it was, there wasn't right. going to be a market after Wednesday. For sure. Right. But, I mean, it, it could come back. Just that move alone um, recently could have could push it back right. into heaven. Well, here, we should bring them up. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll bring we'll them up, bring next up in break, the next break. Yeah. You know, because I got uh, two contracts. Oh, I got 20 contracts. That's right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but for $6, $6.63, yeah. I think, for each one. Big so, money, man. Well, that's the great thing. You know, there wasn't a bid or an offer, but you don't have to have it come too far to, no. to get it back into that same, like, single-digit teens bid offer. That volatility is going to come in. Yes. Hey, well, hey, and it, you it, know that no matter where it is, that... You'll you'll be alive tomorrow afternoon yeah. in terms of your you know your your actions and play and that's the nice thing about those like you talk about same with the spread right. let's say you know they don't have weekly spreads but you know tomorrow you can be trading the daily spreads yes. and let's say there's huge action the wrong way in the morning you know right. and you're just way out of the money that's a great thing because oh. you know that at two o'clock there's still going to be action that maybe the market could reverse or something like that those are nice I I love those spreads that. Just get out of the money on a huge volatile day like that. Yeah, because you because it's almost like a binary for that day. Right, right, yeah, right. You know, which right. is and you know, yeah. Yeah, it's a binary in that you're completely out of the money, yes. right? You know, and yes. that's yeah. So you need the market to move to even have any value in there. But yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. So let, let's take a look at uh, this bond. Okay, first we we'll go to the notes so we can see how this thing is shaken out because this is pretty amazing. So what? What you have, folks, is this. We have a confirmed ABC structure down inside the 10-year. You know, last Thursday, it blew out its swing point with volume. But it looks that we have a, an additional smaller ABC down inside the ABC, which is pretty cool. 
because when you, when that happens, your probability does go up that you know you're going to hit one of them. You know, and because yesterday we failed on price and volume. Yesterday the 10-year got to 128.19. Today we got to 128.26, which is a big move, by the yeah. way. Okay, and you know the volume's not going to come in again. Um, the 30-year, same setup on the 30. We bring the 30 up. What you're going to see in the 30, 30 today got to 162.19, and that's almost giving up a full point. Um, you know, so someone's selling, man. Yeah. You know, someone's selling these things away. Um, it's going to be amazing, actually. Uh, it looks like the Dow, you know, this is early in the day to basically get this kind of juice in the marketplace to come back. I figured we were going to come back, but I didn't figure we were going to come back this quick. Yeah, what were we down in Dow? 80 points, 90? We, uh, uh, well, let's 109. just take a look. What was the, what was the low? 17,120. We're at 17,219. Yeah. Yeah. So like 110. Yeah, right. so we're up 100 points up below. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Dow right now is down 9. NASDAQ's off 20. S&Ps are off 8. You have gold down 1350. Silver's off 28 cents. We're going to be right back. <laughs> Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow right now uh, down nine, NASDAQ's off 20, SPs are off seven and a half. You have gold uh, off 12 bucks, silver's off 26 cents, 
And if we take a look at, uh, if, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, you can go over to our website at TFNN, hit the banner, they'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and you can see how these contracts trade. Um, now, we put on yesterday, I put on yesterday uh, a binary. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you bought a weekly binary. A weekly right? binary. On the S&P. On the S&P. So and and the reason for that was the S&P broke a B point with volume, so it's an ABC structure on the way up. So yeah. And by, you bought it about 50 S&P points out of the money. Right. Risking 660 to make about 93.40. Right. Um, $6.60 to might make 93. Right. Yeah, per I have contract. four days. And yeah. All right. So here's the S&P. Your, your price point is at 20.56. Yeah. So... Right now, there's not a full market. There's right. an offer. There's not a bid if you want to sell out. So of that'd be a total loss, right? right? Right now, right. But what's nice, and you can see, is that you go through the market and you can see what it's going to be trading at if it moves. Like I was saying to you, so here's the market that's 12 under it, right? Yes. Now there's a two by six, and there's the market 24 points under it. So if you get 24 points of movement, you can expect that the bid offer is going to be 20 by 25 right now. Right. That's right now. That's going to change. If an hour goes by, so thank you. Right. Yeah, time-wise, right. exactly. But, but that's great to know how, yeah. how that how that does work and out. And being so out of the money and being having so much time left, that's not going to change a lot if you got it right now, right? No, you know, in the next no. hour or two. Exactly. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Mike in Toronto. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Yeah, hi, hi. I'm calling from Toronto. It's Mike calling. Yeah. Um, could you look at the Spider Biotex for me? That's ticker symbol XBI. XBI. Let's see what we got yeah, here. So, Standard and, Standard and Poor's is scheduling a, uh, a rebalancing for next Monday, the 21st. Okay. So I'm anticipating some kind of a front run where they dump the laggards and replace with the, um, the new companies coming in there. And uh, just trying to figure out, do you have any, any upsides here? Like, it seems well, to be moving with the spiders itself okay and uh, i mean they're factoring all the negative news here on valiant and uh, um, you mentioned about the contrarian trades about 10 15 minutes ago in your in your show here so i was thinking about looking the other way well what happens with a rebalance and this is a quarterly rebalance and so everyone always knows what's getting rebalanced mm -hmm. this is not like it just comes out like today and say okay we're going to rebalance it so I would say that that's mm -hmm. kicked into the marketplace. You see what okay, I'm saying? That's factored in. Okay. Yeah. You know, I mean, and when you look at this, I'm looking at the uh, weighting structures. The largest weighting structure is only 2.4%. So that's another indication that it's not like a NDX 100 where Apple's 14%. Or, in fact, mm -hmm. it's the IBB. The IBB mm -hmm. itself, um, this is a different ball game altogether because if we look at the IBB, you're going to see that the IBB, you know, they mess around with that, you're going to have some action <laughs> because yeah. you get 9%. So, um, you know, so the, to answer your question, that no, cap, I wouldn't, there, there's not money to be made on understanding that there's going to be a rebalancing um, mm -hmm. as to, you know, trading it, you know, yeah, I think it probably wants to go a little bit higher. Yeah, it would follow the, the the queues, I guess, right? I mean, you, yeah. you're looking, you're still looking for upside targets on on the on the queues. Yeah. And the biotechs have been a lagger, so maybe some kind of a sector rotation. No, no, I, this, this this is a dead cat bounce, man. I mean, if yeah. you look at, we got the weekly up, and you're gonna see last week this went up with volume, so that's you know uh -huh. the XBI has high, it has a high volume high at fifty four seventy one now. We're at okay. forty nine. Um, okay. It looks like. That's, you know, it's going into that supply line. That supply line from January 15th, that's 52.23. That's, that's what's okay. going to, you know, probably stop it every time from going higher. Okay, 52.23. Say it breaks through 52.23. What's the upside then? Then you just go to ICE. ICE is laid out at the, right where it broke down from, which would be 61.24. All is ice okay. is, so when you're looking at a chart, folks, all is ice is, is that, you know, support and resistance, really. Ice is a term that Wyckoff coined. It's even just it, visual areas. Of it is, it is visual, right? yeah, that's what it is. So it's, it's, okay. a, it's an art, not a science, really. You know yeah. what I mean? That's, that's yeah. yeah. So you can see it's the bottom okay. of a few big days there and the top of another big right. day. Right, right. And when you line, right. what's cool is that, you know, volume comes out of equities at those places because people make decisions. 
Right. Previous support becomes new resistance. Yeah, totally. exactly. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. The, uh, oh, hey, it's election day. It is. I it's already a, voted, man. Ah, uh, that's so cool, I man. This I'm going, I'm, I got a, I got a telephone call at 1130. I'm going to nice. run right out after that and go do it. Being, I, speaking of drives, right, being 45 minutes from my polling location, I was like, but they open at seven in the morning. So I got it done. That's good. That's yeah. what I normally do. I normally get out and there It's early. pretty easy. It, it is yeah. easy. I, Thankfully, I mean, you know, Florida, unfortunately, we see all the messes in terms of lines and, and right. in those areas. Um, but fortunately, that's not our counties, and that happens in a few different areas, right. thankfully. Right. You know, I think it's in Miami-Dade, right? They're always yep. dealing with some insane lines. Oh, um, yeah. So we'll, I'm sure we'll see that on the news tonight as they're trying to close the polls at 7, and there's oh. lines out the parking lot, right? And that's, that's, that's what oh, yeah. happens. Yeah. It's Florida. It's Florida. Hey, it's Florida. That's Florida. right. It's Florida, hey, folks, man. You know, the, the it's great, Florida election, that, even that, better. That, the, great, the great thing about Florida, folks, is that it's beautiful. But guess what? We joke all the time. If something weird happens, it's Florida, man. Yeah. I mean, it's you a, apply it's, that theory to elections, it's like it's it's a no-brainer. Seriously, it's a no-brainer, man. <laughs> History has taught us, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh man. We like to make headlines on election day. Oh, totally. Let alone on a daily basis, regardless. Exactly. Yeah. So let's go over to uh, Harmony. So check this out. Uh, actually, let me just I'm gonna see what it's doing in the U.S. right now because the Rand. I just saw those headlines. The Rand just jumped abo above. I look at how many will not back off, man. That is a, that's just amazing. So let's see it. I'm curious. What's the Rand doing? The Rand, the Rand going, is getting weak beyond belief again. Look at this. The, the Rand just moved 5,000 ticks or, what is that, a half a penny, I guess, right? Or half a dollar. It's 16. Half a dollar, right? Yeah, it's 16 dollars. So went from 1550 to 16. It's a 16. And if we look at this, let's look at this on a, this would be really crazy if it only did a, so from the, just in the last six months, look at that. It did less than a 618. Yep. That's showing that, number one, you can go Now it's up. right back at the 382. I know. <laughs> and it breaks the 382. You're going to run up into that uh, 1678. That's amazing, man. Wow. That's pretty intense. It is. Time, you know, that, that's going to put more juice, you know, under those South African uh, miners, you know, because bottom line is that everyone's getting paid U.S. dollars and you get the expenses in... Rand dollars. Yeah. Mm. The um, king dollar, king dollar is hanging out here at the 96.78. Uh, over in Europe, this is what we have in Europe. Let's see what we got over here. So you get the FTSE off three tenths of a percent. The DAX is off a half a percent. Nothing heavy, man. Particularly because what you do have, and this is pretty cool, folks, is that the DAX got over. I believe it took out a B point yesterday with volume. Yeah, it did. So watch this. The DAX is an ABC up too. It wasn't yesterday. It was uh, last week. The DAX is an ABC up. And that's, uh, that's also saying, and, and they, they run to the same levels, really. You know what I mean? You stay right there, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now are down 18. NASDAQ's off 25. S&Ps are off 9.5. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is down 30. Nasdaq's off 29. S&Ps are off 8.5. Let's go to Marie in Erie, Pennsylvania. Morning, Marie. How you doing? We're doing great. It's been a wonderful March. How cool is that, right? Oh, gosh. If this is global warming, I'm loving it. Perfect. That's right. <laughs> it gives you a couple extra degrees. Oh, my. It's been really terrific. The, the gas companies have to be crying, but we're smiling. That's good. That's right. That's yeah. right. And that, that's so unusual from last year, right? Oh, my goodness. Last year was a real bear. You got buried. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, Seriously. So what are we going to look at today? Well, I'm back in my predicament here. I'm looking <laughs> at, I'm in CME. Okay. And I have a profit. But, boy, it's got light volume today. And it went over a swing point and with light volume so far. Yeah. And I had been thinking it might run up to the top uh, where uh, it went to in December, around 100. Okay. But I'm starting to wonder if it's running out of gas and if I should bail. Yeah, I think you should. So okay. watch it. If you, if you put this like on a... A monthly, uh, a weekly, it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, this is a big consolidation. And yeah. the danger is that, you know, you're already under um, the swing there. Well, actually, you're not under it yet. It's 9701. You know, but we have 7.8 million and then 8.4 million. That was the week of December 4th and December 11th. Um, today, what's today? Tuesday? Tuesday. Wednesday? Tuesday. So Tuesday. Today, Tuesday. Okay, let's see. 2.7 million. Well, let's see. One second. Maybe we're going to have enough. Okay. 2 million yesterday. You know, you can hang there for a couple more days. Okay, so um, don't get too uh, concerned, huh? Well, no, I'd be concerned because this is a monster consolidation, and it really is coming up to those levels with, you know, lighter volume. And, yeah. you, ha and you have volume down at the bottom at that 81, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like you could just put a stop in underneath this by a couple points. Because what gets interesting here, Marie, is this, is that because this is the CME, mm -hmm. if, in fact, commodities are in a bull market, this could get the juice and get up and over that market. And that could be a huge consolidation that it's a bull. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they've been reporting that they're doing great volume. Yeah. And, um, yeah. 
So. And I thought, well, this was, what had me worried were the, um, the lows um, on the daily. Um, yeah, the they're on the weekly, too. No, that's, that's what we're looking at. That's, that's, yeah. the, that's where the, the... Yeah, but you know what? Stay right there, I think. Yeah. Because when I'm looking... Let me put this on a... Okay, so on the weekly, it has a high volume swing high, which is good. On right. the monthly... Yeah, the monthly's trouble. The monthly's trouble. The, it's it's not that it's trouble. It's just that the highest volume is on that down bar, even on the yeah. daily, weekly, and monthly. So it's like that. Just what that normally means is it will stay in a consolidation. It's going to need, you know, it's still trying to figure it out. Do you uh, would you expect it to go back there? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. That's that. Would, that would. That would be. That's how consolidations work. You know what right. I mean? And this is a long consolidation. Boy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, here, yeah, look at this FNV. If you want to see a long consolidation, but then when you get the breakout of the consolidation, it's pretty intense. FNV, which is Franco Nevada, folks. Okay. Bottom line, you know, it came into the swing point. It came in with 36 million shares versus the last swing. At ten million, the last swing at six. That's a that's an ABC up. You know. Yeah. Have a great one, Marie. Have Thanks, a safe Marie. one. Thanks a lot. Okay. You stay right there, folks. Uh, we get. Uh, well, actually, swim lessons at noon. Swim. Basil's on a little break, but that's swim right. lessons at noon. And uh, Steve, Dave, myself. Thanks, pal. Andy Heck, right? Tuesday. Andy that's Heck. Right. That's there a beautiful go. thing. Perfect. Lots of volatility. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.